Did you always struggle with getting the maximum frames per second in Flight Simulator 2020 when playing it on the PC? Well, then there's some good news. There's now the MSFS 2020 Auto FPS tool created by Reset Transponder. As you can see, the latest version is version 1.4.1 and it contains a lot of changes. So what the tool does allow you to do, it allows you to set a target frames per second and then based on that it will automatically adjust the quality of flight simulator right we all have been in a scenario where you wanted to get the maximum frames per second and you were probably juggling around with all those nice settings in flight simulator to get the maximum out of it well the good news is that this tool will do it automatically for you the only thing you need to do is scroll to the bottom and there you will find the tool itself once you found the tool, right, you can simply install it. So let me also do that. So I'll go to my downloads folder and then I will go to my uh, installer. And then you've got a few options. First of all, there's the create link on desktop. Then there's the, or multiple options, right? There's first of all, is the remove auto start option. Now let me zoom in a bit, which uh, removes the auto start functionality. If you, for example, installed it, uh, let's say, a while ago, or maybe you just install it, but then decided you don't want to automatically install this tool or auto start this tool. Then you can press that remove auto start option. If you don't want to auto start the tool, then leave the default option selected, which I'm going to do. But there are also two other options. One of them is auto start with FS UI PC, and the second one is auto start with MSFS. As you can already guess, what happens in those cases is that it will automatically install or how to start the tool uh, if you start one of those tools. In this case, we're gonna simply press install. It will check if .NET uh, 7 desktop runtime is installed. If that's not the case, it will prompt you to install it and it will automatically install it for you. And by default, it will be installed in, I would say, kind of a say, special directory. It will be installed in the app data roaming and there you will find the MSFS 2020 auto FPS directory. Uh, so that's what I say, rent pretty smooth right um so if you install it there's a recommendation here to restart your pc after the installation but in my in my case i'm gonna ignore it right because i just want to show you the tool uh so once you've done that you can say uh, continue with configuring the tool and configuring the tool uh is pretty easy right so first of all you need to find it in the start menu uh that is kind of a challenge uh, in most cases but in my case, I couldn't find it. I'm not sure if I'm if it's an issue with me or if there's something else going wrong. Uh, but what I needed to do is manually go to it and then uh, I'd say start the tool. As we just saw, the tool was installed in the app data roaming, right? So we'll simply go to app data percentage. That will bring me to my roaming folder. And inside the roaming folder, you will find this nice folder, which is called MSFS 2020 Auto FPS. If I double click on that one, then I will find the config file and also a bin directory, which stands for binaries, which contains the tool itself. And then you can simply double click on it and it will automatically open the tool. So let's have a look at it. You can see a very small window. So let me zoom in again. And here you can configure things, right? So first of all, you can say a hey, open window on app start, which again, ensures that if you start flight simulator it will automatically start this tool then there's the target pc frames per second so this is the target frames per second which you want to reach when playing flight simulator in this case 40 frames per second which is pretty reasonable depending on your hardware configuration it might be unrealistic so be careful with this uh, think of a value which you would like to reach right so we can even decrease it to, for example, 30 uh, frames per second. That's also nice. In addition to that, you've got the on top option. The on top option will simply make sure that this tool will always be shown on top of everything. In my case, I really don't like that because it will also be shown above Flight Simulator in some scenarios. So I'll leave it off. Then we've got the Use Expert options. And the US Act, you Use Expert options contains a lot of additional options as you can see right one of the options is to 
I would say define the percentage frames per cent frames per second tolerance, hard word, right? And then it will simply look 5% above or below, and then based on that, it will make a decision what to do. Then there's also the TLOD minus on ground landing. There's a thousand feet, and the average decent rate is 2,000 feet per minute. And you can see you can all configure all kinds of nice options here. Uh, but what I would recommend you to do is simply leave the frames per or the use expert options uh, disabled and start with the target PC frames per second. Because that's the most easiest options. If you still want to tweak, you can always enable the use expert options and then make some adjustments here. So leaving it off right and then I'd say um, let run. And the only thing you need to do is uh, start flying simulator, right? As you can see, it also has dependency on Sim Connect, but in most scenarios that's automatically installed. So let me start flight simulator in my case, and then you will see that it will start to auto adjust. Keep in mind that if you tweak the configuration, that the, it's recommended to as a kind of take screenshots of the configuration before installing this tool, because else you might lose your, let's say, fine tuned, fine -tuned uh, graphic configuration. So, in my case, right, it will take some time before it starts and before it's fully loaded. So let me pause the recording and then we'll return to the recording once Flight Simulator has started. So Flight Simulator has started, and you can see that some things have changed in the GUI of MSFS Auto FPS. First of all, if I zoom in, right, you can see that MSFS as well as Sim Connect are now green, which means that they're connected, which is good. The only thing which isn't green yet is the session, which makes sense because I didn't start flying yet. Then we've got the Sim values, right? You can see the frames per second. And then you can see some other values which are either not applicable or set to zero. So to say activate it, right? We need, really need to start a flight. So let's do that. So I will zoom out again. And then I will go to a flight simulator in my case and then select the world map. And let's uh, fly with the ornithopter, right? And then, well, where should we fly? Let's fly above. In this case, Washington. Yeah, why not, right? Let's zoom into Washington. Let's zoom into Ronald Reagan Airport. So this is departure and then press fly. Uh, as you can see, I also have the tool uh, activated, the, off the afterburner tool from MSI activated, right? Which uh, shows the actual frames per second. And if I would compare that with, I would say this nice tool, you can see that it's well, it's not 100% perfect, right? You can still see that hey, a sim value shows a 68, while this one shows a little bit less. But okay, let's have a look at what happens when we start flying, because then it should auto-adjust our quality. As you can see, the, the uh, target PC frames per second is set to 30, right? Which means in my case, that likely won't make a lot of adjustments because we're still above that, right? We're still above that 30 frames per second. So let's uh, hit uh, ready to fly. Here we go. Let's look at the outside in this case. And then let's Change our direction to whoa, not too low. <laughs> Almost went wrong. To the city of Washington, right? So let me also say put this one on top and move it a little bit down. You can see that we're still say at 39, 38 frames per second. Clouds are medium, right? So you can see it already made some adjustments uh, to improve the frames per second, likely because say it resulted in likely we were a little bit lower. Uh, in addition to that, you can see that the uh, Dark X mode is uh, 12, as well as the PC mode, and the TLOD min priority is set. Uh, the cool thing is that you can also see that it changes colors, right? So it's now in the yellow area, while the frames per second is still in the green area. So you can see that it really makes, let's say, it keeps track of, okay, what are, am I doing? And do we need to make some adjustments based on that?
And while we're flying, right, when we look at the quality, it still is, I would say, well, it's not that bad, right? But it at least helps you to make sure that you have a fluent experience when uh, playing Flight Simulator. If you might have a machine which, I would say, is less specs, right? You can see that my frames per second are not dropping. You can see red values. Then it will start to make adjustments. And it continues to make those changements continuously, right? So it's continuously monitoring, okay, hey, should I adjust it? Yes or no? Should I make improvements to make sure that I hit the maximum frames per second? Yes or no? Right, so likely if I would put this value to a value of 60, which is of course far higher than I can, can reach with my uh, configuration, then you will likely see that things will start to turn a little bit more red. Uh, so let's have a look at that. Looks like that it doesn't pick it up yet, right? So maybe we even need to start Flight Simulator. It's a little bit unclear from documentation if you need to do it prior to starting Flight Simulator, but it looks like because it didn't pick up these values. So likely not a very good example I did. I can still see it keeps track of the frames per second, which is, I would say, mimicking the values which you see from Afterburner, right? From MSI. And using this tool, you can reach your target PC frames per second easily. Uh, so it will automatically adjust the quality. So have fun with it because it will save you a lot of time tweaking your Flight Simulator 2020 installation. You can find the download link for the tool in the description of this video. So have fun with it and also let me know what the results were for you when you tried it. Here ends this video where we looked at the MSFS 2020 Auto FPS tool, which is released at version 0.4.1, is the latest release and will help you, let's say, get the best experience from frames per second, I would say, point of view, right? Not might, might be not from quality point of view, but at least from frames per second point of view using Flight Simulator 2020. Here ends this video. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, then consider to use the like button. If you've got questions or comments, then feel free to post them in the comment box below. And if you want to stay up to date about new videos I'm posting, then make sure that you're subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.